So I got a couple of plays here, Big Fella. Yeah, you hold on to that. Mm -hmm. So this play in particular, we're going to show the Big Fella coming up, setting a little screen and roll action. Mm -hmm. And then right here, you're trying to ask for the basketball. Mm -hmm. what, what, do you, what do you say to your PG right here? I'm... <laughs> You, you look pretty open, big fella. Look pretty open. See, one thing that's underrated about Matt, uh, that's Matt Coleman right there, um, is how unselfish he is. And uh, if you open, he's going to find you. And, but one thing I kind of had to learn at the collegiate level was to post with my hips, mm -hmm. get my hips into him. And uh, what I'm telling Matt is I'm like, Cliff, throw me the rock. <laughs> throw me the ball. But I got to get my goal posts up to make sure he sees that my hands are there so he knows that I'm open. A little patience got to take place with you working with your guards, exactly. of course. So now they move it again. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I wanted to show you these plays is because in the NBA, no disrespect to any of your teammates, mm -hmm. but these guys have to be able to make this pass. Yeah. Okay, because this is terrific post position and you are sitting down. Yeah. And you are asking for the basketball. Yeah. Play continues to move. Again, quick move. Bang, bang. <laughs> so let's go back through that. That's what I like, big fella. <laughs> Continue to work for the ball on the front side when you didn't get it, yeah. and then on the back side. Just talk to me about what you see on this play and what's your thought process after the third person has the ball yeah. and finally going to get it to you. Yeah. So immediately what I see here is that, you know, where do you, where do you see the space? All of the space is all on the baseline. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking to myself, this guy is in the help side. You know, uh, Jace is a really good shooter, so he's going to be, you know, 80-20 on Jace. Um, and this guy's sitting middle because he's seen me do the jump hook in the middle a bunch of times. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go baseline as quick, quick as I can. And Dylan is a willing and able passer, and he's actually a really good three-point shooter. That's why this guy was kind of hugged up on him a little mm -hmm. bit. Same thing as Eric. Um, but uh, my thing was uh, I got baseline now, so why not take it? And if he would have cut me off baseline, I would have probably uh, countered it with a spin back or something like that. Yeah, see, that's what I love about this play. You're not indecisive. Yeah. You catch it, you immediately go... And this is one of the things people love. Your athleticism mm -hmm. and your length. The ability to finish over regardless who's underneath the backboard. Yeah. Now, here's a play where people, your naysayers, we all have them, mm -hmm. are going to say these are things we want to see you improve at. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about what you see on these plays because here's what happens. Now all of a sudden, mm. you in this conversation. So everybody paying attention to everything you do when that name wouldn't yep. award preseason nominee comes yep. up. Yep. So here you go right here in the pick and roll act, the down screen action. And then boom, you're posting up right here. The spacing isn't the, the best. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get to a spot. We know how this works. Mm -hmm. He's going to bring the defender. So the offensive player probably feels like it's probably not a good decision to throw it in there mm -hmm. because it may lead to a steal. Yeah. So we're going to fast forward it a little bit. So now when you swing it to the top, this is what your critics would say. Mm. And this is what I would say if I was coaching you. Either you got to get front side and duck in right here, mm -hmm. or you got to back side spin out for the lob. Absolutely. And so on this play, what were your thought process in not initially doing it, but knowing when this situation happens again, yeah. you have the ability to make that play? Yeah. Well, initially I saw that my... Um... You know, my goalposts were up, and I, what appears to be I was a little kind of open, but I didn't get the ball because I really wasn't open. I trusted my guards to, mm -hmm. to know if I was open or not. But like you said, what I should have did was hard duck in here for that high low and um, use my hips and got into him and really sealed him under the basket for an easy lay-in or, or spin out for, for a lob there. But my thought process was, um, you know, if I didn't, I didn't really want the ball there. I wanted the mm -hmm. ball there because look how much more space I wanted over there. So um, just swimming and getting over the top and, and burying him on the other side was really what I wanted, but got to do it. And the unique thing about being a young prospect, there's always going to be things to work on. Yeah. So this was, if you wanted to be selfish, mm -hmm. this could have also been an opportunity for you to just duck, duck and say, yeah. give me the ball and yep. be big. Yep. But I appreciate the fact that you actually was like, you know what, I'm going to run the play. Yeah. So now you run, you get a, they finally get it to you. And now we're going to swing it back side to side. I love the fact that you guys move the ball from side to side. Terrific ball movement. So now, again, the same type of action right here. Mm -hmm. In the league, that should be a lob for you. A little hook pass right here, a mm -hmm. little lob over the top. Mm -hmm. Nice footwork, by the way. 
and all of a sudden when it happens, though, the play was a little bit late, so now you're off balance. Mm. So what are you thinking about right here? Thinking about, you know, how much time I got on the shot clock. I know it's very low because we spent about, you know, 20, 24 seconds already. As you can see, we're down to six, and it's to get the best shot of it as I could as possible. And it's a broken possession, and mm. bigs need guards and perimeter players to help them out so they don't get low percentage plays. So at this point, um, physically, as you want to get stronger, mm -hmm. you want to be able to take your body and create that level of space so you can actually get towards the backboard and make a high percentage shot. But these are the things that you work on as a young player. And I'm pretty sure you've been working on this summer. Absolutely.